Dear students, after studying this module, you shall be able to know about the types of host gas molecules to determine the structure of different types of conformations of calexarenes. You shall also be able to define the calexarene, ionophores, micelles and synzymes and you shall be also aware of the applications or, and usage of host gas molecules and you shall also learn from this module about the chemistry of calexarene, ionophores, micelles and synzymes. Now let us begin with the introduction of this topic. The present module deals with the different types of host gas molecules which play a pivotal role in the biological system. Enormous numbers of biological processes takes place in the living system. By now, you are already aware about the cell structure and the membranes of living systems. A variety of cations and drugs cannot directly reach to their target on their own. Therefore, there exists a need for their transportation via certain mechanism. So a number of molecules act as host molecules to wrap around the particular cation or drug and transport it at the target site. This particular section deals with such type of molecules like calexarenes, ionophores, micelles and synzymes. Let us first talk about in detail about calexarenes. The calyx and arenes are cyclic phenols bridged by methylene groups. Also, they are formulated as RC6H4ORCH2N, where R dash is equal to H in unsubstituted calyxarenes that may adopt different conformations according to the value of N and R and R dash substituents. The most common calyxarenes are N is equal to 4. They represent particularly a significant family of macrocycle hosts in host guest and supramolecular chemistry. They exist in a cup-like shape with a defined upper and lower rim and a central annulus. This is shown to you clearly in the figure shown. The rigid conformation enables calyxarenes to act as host molecules as result of the preformed activities. By functionally modifying either the upper or lower rims, it is possible to prepare various derivatives with different selectivities for various guest ion and small molecules. The term calyxarene was the more pictorially and descriptively appealing term based on the similarity of the basket shapes to the calyx which is a Greek term for a vase or a chalice and the arene which denotes the presence of obviously aryl groups in chemistry. The number of aryl groups are indicated by the insertion of number between calyx and the arene word. For example students calyx 4 arene for tetramers. To indicate from which phenol is the calyxarene derived the para substituent is des designated by the name, for example, cyclic tetramer of para tertiary butyl phenol is called para tertiary butyl calyx 4 arene. And the structure of the same is shown here in this figure. The parent calyxarenes are white crystalline materials characterized by high melting points. They are insoluble in water and generally have low solubilities in most organic solvents but after preparing derivatives, they can be soluble in either medium. The conformations of calyxarenes. Host gas chemistry of calyxarene is of great interest to us as the calyxarenes exhibit complexing abilities with alkali metals, alkaline earth metals and some of the transition metals cations by means of functional group modification at the phenolic groups. Calyx 4 arene is a versatile supramolecular building block. The molecule possesses a well pre-organized cavity which accommodates guests such as metal ions. Lower and upper rim of calyx 4 arene unit can be modified to accommodate useful moieties for complexing cations, anions and organic molecules as well. 
Calyx fluorine has also a very interesting property of conformational interconversion which occurred by rotation of the aryl rings through the methylene bridges. The possible conformations of the calyx for arene are cone, partial cone, 1, 2 alternate and 1, 3 alternate and this is clearly shown to you in the figure here. The cone conformation is the most favored among the four conformations which are available due to the very strong intramolecular hydrogen bonding between the four hydroxyl groups at the lower rim of the calyx. In particular, the easy accessibility of para tertiary butyl calyx 4 arene has made this member of the series increasingly popular with ligating sidearms or podons for the reception of guest species. For example, Nabishima et al. synthesized a calyx 4 arene framework bearing two ester units, two polyether units, two urea units, and two bipyridine units and used it to recognize sodium ion efficiently. This fact is attributed to the size of the ionophoric cavity composed of the derived calyx 4 arene which is comparable to the ion size of sodium ion and also to the cone conformation which is firmly constructed on the rigid calyx 4 arene platform. Let us now study something about the applications of calyx arene. Calyxarenes are applied in enzyme mimetics, ion selective electrodes or sensors, selective membranes and optic sensors. Calyxarenes are used in commercial applications as sodium selective electrodes for the measurement of sodium level in the blood. Calyxarenes are also used as mobile phase additives for HPLC and chemically bonded stationary phase for both GC and HPLC in chromatography. Particularly stress is given on the sensitized luminescence, luminescence of lanthanide ions complexes with calyxarene derivatives because these functional complexes show potential applications as probes and labels for biological applications. Calyx 4 arene was used as a scaffold to assemble and construct bearing for TN antigen unit at the upper rim and the immunoadjuvant P3CS at the lower rim. The construct showed a cluster effect in the production of TN specific IgG antibodies in mice when compared to an analogous monovalent construct. This reveals perspectives for potential applications in cancer immunotherapy. After having discussed calyxarenes, let us now move on to the discussion of ionophores. Ionophores are small hydrophobic molecules that dissolve in lipid bilayers and increase their permeability to specific inorganic ions and which facilitate ion passage in or out of cell membranes. They can do this by binding to a particular ions and acting as mobile carriers escorting through the hydrophobic environment of the cell. Ionophores are used to increase the permeability of biological membranes and facilitate transfer of molecules into and out of the cells. They create a shield over the ion, enabling it to transfer hydrophobic biological membranes. Ionophores have unique molecular properties and which allow them to be used in a variety of functions. Let us study how many types of ionophores are available to us or are known to us. There are two classes of ionophores. First one is mobile ion carriers, which are basically small molecules that physically shield the ion from the surrounding environment and facilitate it, its movement across the plasma membrane and channel forming ionophores. These channel forming ionophores which create a pore in the biological membrane to allow the ion to pass through. This is shown figure. Both types of the ionophores operate by shielding the charge of the transported ion so that it can penetrate the hydrophobic interior of the lipid bilayer. Since ionophores are not coupled to the energy sources, they permit net movement of ions only down their electrochemical gradients. Let us now discuss the different examples of mobile carrier ionophores. First is the valinomycin. 
Phalenomycin is one of the best characterized examples of mobile ion carriers. It is a cyclic peptide of DL amino acids. Phalenomycin is a carrier for potassium. It is a ring shaped molecule made up of three repeats of sequence L valine, D hydroxy, isovaleric acid, D valine, L lactic acid, as you can see in the figure. Puckering of the ring stabilized by hydrogen bonds allows valinomycin to closely surround a single unhydrated potassium ion. Six atoms of the ionophore interact with the bound potassium ion, replacing oxygen atom of waters of hydration. Valinomycin can catalyze the net potassium ion transport because it can translocate either in the complexed or the uncomplexed state. The direction of the net flux depends on the electrochemical potassium gradient. Calcimycin. It is another example of mobile ion carrier but transports divalent cations. It is also known as A23187 and is a calcium ionophore with antibiotic properties. This ionophore increases intracellular calcium concentrations and can either initiate or prevent apoptosis in different cell types. Ionomycin. This is the third mobile ion carrier ionophore. Ionomycin is a selective ionophore for calcium ions. It increases membrane permeability to calcium, thus increasing calcium concentration in the cell. Next is nonactin. Nonactin is a member of family of naturally occurring cyclic ionophores. The bacterial species Streptomyces sucubenesis and Streptomyces grisis produce nonactin. It is composed of four tetrahydrofuron rings and four ester linked by saturated aliphatic chain sections. Nonactin has a 48 member ring built from 40 carbons that is 8 on ring and 4 as ketones. Nonactin is known for its ability to form complexes with alkali cations, especially potassium and sodium. Although nonactin exhibits an especially high cation selectivity for potassium ions over sodium ions or rubidium ions also. It exhibits the highest selectivity for ammonium ions and thallium ions. Due to this property, Nonactin is also known as the ammonium ionophore. Now, let us study some example students of the channel forming carrier ionophores. First in the series is the gramicidin A. Gramicidin A is an example of channel forming ionophore. As a linear peptide of only 15 amino acid residues, all with hydrophobic side chains, it is best characterized and simplest ion channel carrier. With a large electrochemical gradient, gramicidin A can transport about 20,000 cations per open channel per millisecond, which is 1000 times more ions that can be transported by a single mobile carrier molecule in the same time. Applications of ionophores. Now let us study this. Ionophores are specially used for diagnostic radio imaging. They are components of many pharmaceuticals and are used widely in research to increase or decrease concentrations in solutions. They are also used to make ion selective electrodes which are mainly used diagnostically for analyzing ion concentration in blood plasma, serum, CSF that is cerebrospinal fluid and urine with application with drug detection in heart and kidney functions. Let us now study the next topic of our discussion, that is micelles. Micelles are organized molecular assemblies of surfactants. Surfactants, sometimes called surface active agents or detergents, are extremely versatile chemicals with applications in chemistry, biology and pharmaceutical science. Surfactants contain both polar head group and a non-polar long chain hydrophobic or hydrocarbon chain. The amphipilic character of surfactants allows for self-association or micellization, whereby the hydrophobic portion forms the micelle core and the polar head groups 
form the micelle water interface. A typical micelle in aqueous solution forms an aggregate with the hydrophilic head regions in contact with the surrounding solvent, sequestering the hydrophobic single tailed regions in the micelle center. This phase is caused by the packing behavior of the single tailed lipids in a bilayer. The difficulty in filling all the volume of the interior of the bilayer while accommodating the area per head group forced on the molecule by the hydration of the lipid head group leads to the formation of a micelle. Micelles composed of ionic surfactants have an electrostatic attraction to the ions that surround them in solution, the latter known as counter ions. Although the closest counter ions partially mask a charged micelle up to 90%, the effects of micelle charge affect the structure of the surrounding solvent at appreciable distances from the micelle. Ionic micelles influence many properties of the mixture, including its electrical conductivity. Micelles are approximately spherical in shape. The length of the non-polar tail, the nature and size of the polar or ionic head, the acidity of the solution, the temperature and the presence of added salts are the most important factors determining the kind of obtained aggregate. If those parameters are changed, it is possible to change shape and size of the micelles. Now let us study in detail about types of micelles which are available to us or known to us. Micelles are of different types like bilayer, reverse micelles, vesicle and non-spherical micelles. As you can see, they are all shown to you, to you here clearly in this figure. Now let us study about the critical micelle concentration or CMC. There are factors which affect the micelle formation and these factors are the size of hydrophobic domain in the amphiphilic molecule, concentration of amphiphiles, temperature and solvent. The assembly formation starts only when a certain minimum concentration is crossed by the amphiphilic molecules called as critical micellar concentration. At low concentrations in medium, these amphiphilic molecules exist separately and are so small that they appear to be subcolloidal. The CMC decreases with increase in tail length because of hydrophobic character it increases. CMC of ionic surfactants is generally higher than the non-ionic surfactants. Ionic surfactant CMC value ranges from 10 raised to power minus 3 to 10 raised to power minus 2 molar while for non-ionic surfactants it ranges from 10 raised to power minus 4 to 10 raised to power minus 3 molar. The CMC represents a phase separation between single molecules of surfactant and surfactant aggregates in dynamic equilibrium. Micelle packing parameter. After having studied the CMC, let us now concentrate on micelle packing parameter. The micelle packing parameter equation is utilized to help predict molecular self-assembly in surfactant solutions. And the formula is V0 divided by A Z into L0, where V0 is a surfactant tail volume, L0 is the tail length, and AZ is the equilibrium area per molecule of the aggregate surface. Now let us study the application and uses of micelles. Micelle formation is essential for the absorption of fat soluble vitamins and complicated lipids within the human body. Bile salts which are secreted by the gallbladder in our body allow micelles of fatty acids to form. This allows the absorption of complicated lipids, for example, lecithin, and fat soluble vitamins, for example, vitamin A, D, E, and K, within the micelle by the small intestine. Micelles are also used for the drug delivery in order to minimize drug degradation and loss, to prevent harmful side effects, and to increase bioavailability. Micelles can form emulsifier that allows a compound that is usually insoluble in water to dissolve. Many facial washes use micelles formation to clean the skin by removing oil and other undesired substances. Next topic of study students is synthetic enzymes shortly as synzymes. Synthetic enzyme 
Research is a field that is only 40 years old. Starting with the first synthetic enzyme created in 1971 by the scientist Robert Bruce Merrifield. Before discussing about synthetic enzymes, let us first define an enzyme. An enzyme is a naturally occurring catalyst in living organisms that speeds up vital chemical reactions necessary for life. Synthetic enzymes or synzymes are substances with catalytic activity. The name synzyme is derived from synthetic enzyme. The, these are also called artificial enzymes. Current synzymes consist mainly of organic molecules tailored in such a way that they catalyze certain kind of reactions. These molecules bind to a transition state of the substrate in its active site. Like enzymes, synthetic enzymes are also generally obeying the michaelis menten kinetics. Synthetic enzymes are also defined as the synthetic organic molecules prepared to recreate or mimic the active site of an enzyme. Synzymes are designed according to the host molecules such as cyclodextrins, crown ethers or calixarines, etc. What is the requirement for synzyme activity? A synzyme should have two structural moieties that is a substrate binding site and a catalytically effective site. Both sites may be designed separately but it is observed that an enzyme having a binding site for a reactive transition state exhibits both the functions. Usually there is an enzyme substrate formation that is converted to the product and free enzyme gets released. In case of synzyme such a thing happens too. For example the substrate attaches to the synzyme then the synzyme substrate complex is formed leading to the free synzyme and the product which is desired. There are many types of synzymes. Now let us study about that. There are various types of synzymes which are derived from different sources. First one is protein derived synzymes. Some synzymes are simply derivatized proteins. It is significant to mention here that immobilized enzymes are not considered as synzymes. An example of protein synzyme is derivatization of myoglobin that is an oxygen carrier in muscles by attaching ruthenium penta ammonium salt in the 3 plus state of ruthenium to three surface histidine residues. This derivatization changes it from oxygen carrier to an oxidase. This derivatized myoglobin oxidized, oxidizes ascorbic acid with reduction of molecular oxygen. The derivatized myoglobin as ascorbate oxidase is as effective as ascorbate oxidases. Protein enzymes are prone to denaturation, oxidation and hydrolysis. Cyclodextrin enzymes. Synzyme cyclodextrins are usually derivatized to introduce catalytically relevant groups. Cyclodextrins are naturally occurring cyclic molecules consisting of 6 to 10 alpha 1,4 linked glucosyl moieties linked head to tail in a ring form. Example of cyclodextrin synzyme is beta cyclodextrin with C6 hydroxyl group covalently derivatized by an activated pyridoxal coenzyme that showed transaminase activity with stereospecificity towards L amino acids. It is not as effective as natural transaminase. Organic synzymes. The primary amines have been alkylated with one iododotacane and the resulted alkylated amine has hydrophobic binding sites in this particular organic synzyme category. If primary amine is alkylated with 4,5-chloromethyl imidazole, it creates a general acid base catalytic site and resulting product act as synzymes. This enzyme shows the activity of alpha chymotrypsin against 4-nitrophenyl esters. However, due to its random structure, it shows very poor esterase specificity. Synzymes have also been constructed by combination of alkylated ethylene amine and polyoxometalates. These enzymes have hydrophobic regions that allow the aqueous biphasic selective oxidation of very hydrophobic water insoluble substrates with hydrogen peroxide. 
superoxide dismutase enzymes now let us study about this category of enzymes superoxide dismutase is an enzyme found in all living organisms manganese superoxide dismutase has been found in mammalian mitochondrion that acts by scavenging superoxide free radicals if free superoxide radicals are present these may attack dna and proteins also it is known that many diseases such as cancer parkinson's disease alzheimer's disease are associated with deficiencies in natural enzymes the possibility of using mimics of the natural enzymes or the synzymes active site for therapeutic use has been considered in this for this purpose the synzyme offers the possibility of treating such diseases with manganese complexes mimicking the function of natural enzymes now let us study in brief the application of synzymes these have many applications like catalytic antibodies are used to exploit the excellent binding ability that natural antibodies possess that is molecular recognition this is achieved by constructing a site or the transition state analog and screen for antibodies against this molecule catalytic antibodies are good for simple reactions The major application of these catalytic antibodies is in detoxification of cocaine. Here you can see a reaction of the catalytic bodies in detoxification of cocaine. What is the use in pharmaceutical industry? Specifically for the designing of synthetic enzymes that accelerates the formation of drugs and chemicals. The use in medicine. Use of designed synthetic enzymes as a supplements for patients deficient in certain enzymes can be made instead of extracting natural enzymes from other organisms. Genetic engineering. Potentially designing synthetic enzymes that manipulate gene sequences to create genetically modified organisms or to help genealogy research. These are the various uses of synzymes. Now students, let us summarize this module for you. in this module we have basically tried to teach you points the calyx and arenes are cyclic phenols bridged by methylene groups that may adopt various conformations depending upon the value of n r and r dash substituents they exist in a cup like shape with a defined upper and lower rim in a central annulus the rigid conformation enables calyx arenes to act as host molecules as a result of preformed activity calyx arenes are extensively used in in enzyme mimetics ion selective electrodes or sensors selective membranes and optic sensors ionophores are small hydrophobic molecules that dissolve in lipid bilayers and increase the permeability of biological membranes and facilitate transfer of molecules in and out of the cell Ionophores are specifically used for diagnostic radio imaging and in making of ion selective electrodes which mainly are used for analyzing iron concentration in blood plasma and serum as well We also taught you that micelles are an aggregate of surfactant molecules dispersed in a liquid colloid Micelles are of different types like bilayer types reverse micelles vesicle types and non spherical micelles also Micelle formation is very important for the absorption of fat soluble vitamins and complicated lipids that occur within the human body. Synthetic enzymes or synzymes are organic molecules prepared to recreate or mimic the active site of an enzyme. These are also used in pharmaceutical industry, medicinal field and genealogy research.